let's say that you have a new scene and you want to get a feel for this scene. You want to check the sizing, check the layout, check the scope of the scene. Well, in this case, I have a perfect example here where it's just a static scene with a static camera. So it's a hard to get a feel for those things to kind of really prototype it out. This scene is the Polygon Starter Pack scene by Cinti Studios. And you can see that they've included a character in this scene. So we are gonna use the ultimate character controller to get this character moving around. We're also gonna add a weapon to the character just because it's a pretty quick process. Now, if we go ahead and drill into this character, you'll notice that this character only has a single mesh renderer with a single material. In first person view, you want to hide the humanoid arms or the full body arms and head just so that doesn't get in view of the camera. And there are two ways to solve this. The kind of the main best way is to uh, use your modeling tools uh, such as Blender to split up the mesh and split up the materials into two separate objects or three separate objects, one for the head, one for the arms, and one for the rest of the body. That's how we did it in the Ultimate Character Controller demo scene. Another option, and this option is great for prototyping, is to use the FPS mesh tool by Code Bison Games and allow it to split the materials up for you. So we're going to quickly do that by just dragging in the character and we only want to split up the male materials and now it asks for the left and the right arms. So I'm going to select that. And I'll do that right now. And now we can, uh, we can actually create a preview, see that the arms and the head are separate from the body. So that looks good. So let's go ahead and build that character. And now we have a character with uh, split materials and split mesh. So, Let's now open up the Ultimate Character Controller Editor. And the first thing that we want to do is set up the theme to be used with the Ultimate Character Controller. We're also going to add a UI just for good measure. And now we can go through and actually create the character. Now I'm going to create a character in both perspectives. And one of the things that it asks for are the arms in first person view. And we have a prefab that is all set up and ready to go. So I'm just going to select that. And then third person objects, you can see that this character has some hair that is completely separate from the rest of the body. So I'm going to select that. That way the hair gets removed when I'm in a third person view. So now I'm going to hit build and I had ragdoll selected. So the ragdoll wizard appeared, but that's no problem. And so now I have a character that's been created. So let's go ahead and hit play and see what happens. And you can see that the arms are still there, the head is still there, but the hair is removed. So I'm in first person view, so I obviously want those objects to be removed. And this is specific to the FPS mesh tool, but there's an integration component that I need to add. And so I'm going to just add that there. Um, once I get done adding that, now when I hit play, You can see the arms and the head are now removed. So this first person view works and third person view works. And now I can kind of get a feel for the scene. Well, we're not quite done yet because now we want to add a weapon to add some more interaction. And we can do that pretty quickly by first clicking on the character, going to the inventory component. And we will add a couple of different items for the default loadout. Um, we're going to add an assault rifle and some bullets. And so I'm going to do that by just adding the item types. And so now we have those and we're going to add a runtime pickup, which this will add the actual game object of the assault rifle. And so I'm going to do that. So now when I hit play, we should see in first person view that the character now has an assault rifle. Perfect, and, and we can we can shoot it, we can reload it, we can, it's just a regular assault rifle, so we're good there. Um, actually, let me go to third person view, because when we're in third person view, you'll notice that the assault rifle, it's, it's not in the correct position. And the reason for this is because the character hierarchy is different than the prefab, uh, or what the prefab expects, so we can quickly fix that 
by going to the arms and click on the item game object. And actually, let me do this while we're in play mode, just so you can see it visually changing. And I'll go to third person view. And so now I can adjust the rotation, the sizing of the assault rifle so that it's in the correct position. I've already done that. So if I paste these values, they should be correct. So now when I hit play, we should be able to have the assault rifle in the correct position. So yeah, that, that looks good. So that's how you can quickly prototype a new scene using the ultimate character controller.